here I discuss arithmetic operators. When it comes to arithmetic operators, we can find plus, minus, star, slash, and modulus. So this slash gives quotient and modulus gives reminder. Now plus is for addition, minus for subtraction and star for multiplication. Slash gives quotient and modulus gives the reminder. Now let us discuss the priority of these operators. Star, slash and modulus. These operators enjoy first priority. Plus and minus they enjoy second priority. So, priority. Here, star, slash, and modulus all are, have the, all are having the same priority. Again, don't consider star is slightly higher than slash and slash is slightly higher than modulus like that. No, star, slash, modulus, same priority. Plus and minus, again, same priority. Now, we will take up one simple problem 10 plus 5 slash 2 minus 6 modulus 3 into 2. Now we need to evaluate first. So the associativity, associati associativity of arithmetic operators left to right. Associativity means order of evaluation. So associativity of arithmetic operators left to right. So we need to start from left to right, but we should not perform plus here. First, we should perform phi divided by two. So, 5 divided by 2, 5 is numerator, 2 is denominator. So, 2, 2 is 4 and 1 is the reminder. Don't keep here point and make this 0 and 2, 5 is 10. No, the reason is when numerator is integer and denominator is integer, integer division truncates the fractional part. So, you get the answer 2 here. So, 10 plus 2 minus 6 modulus 3 into 2 into 2. Now you need to evaluate 6 modulus 3. So modulus operator gives reminder. So 10 plus 2 minus so 3 2s are 6. So 0 is the reminder. So 0 into 2. Next we need to perform 0 into 2. So 10 plus 2 minus 0. So 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 is the answer. Now one more important thing when it comes to modulus operator is so the sign of the result is always sign of the numerator. For example 10 modulus 3 is 1. If you write minus 10 modulus 3, it is minus 1. 10 modulus minus 3 is 1. Minus 10 modulus minus 3 is minus 1. So, moral of the story, when it comes to modulus operator, sign of the result is always sign of the numerator. Now, we studied in C programming language, we cannot apply modulus operator on floating point numbers, but there is a mathematical function called F mod, which gives reminder of two floating point numbers. So there is a mathematical function called F mod. So A F M O D F mod. So, if you give two floating point numbers to this particular function, mathematical function f mod, 
it gives a reminder of two floating point numbers. So here two rules are very important. Rule number one, integer division truncates the fractional part. Rule number two, we cannot apply modulus operator on floating point numbers, but there is a function called f mod. There is a mathematical function called f mod which gives reminder of two floating point numbers.